Hi, I'm Southern Bell 74, and this is the movie review of the movie The Devil You Know. This movie is written and directed by Charles Murray. It stars Omar Epps, Michael Ely, William Catlett, Glenn Turman, Curtis Cook, Vanessa Bell Calloway, Erica Tazell, Vaughn W. Hebron, B.J. Britt, Murray Gray, Michael Beach, Keisha Epps, Ashley A. Williams, and Theo Rossi. A brief overview of the story. After a lifetime of trouble, a man has a chance to turn things around with the love and support of his family. As he tries to do the right thing, he finds himself spiraling back into that dark place that he overcame. Marcus Cowan is played by Omar Epps, and that's the main, he's the main character in the movie. He's recently released from jail and looking to get his life back with no more distractive vices. Things are starting to look up with his father, who's played by Glenn Turman, has gained him a new job being a bus driver for the city. His mother, who's played by Vanessa Bell Calloway, sets him up on a blind date. So there is a nurse by the name of uh, Erica Tazell. She plays the character of Eve in the movie. Um, she invites her over for dinner um, because they know that Marcus is trying to turn his life around and he needs a good woman in his life. So um, after dinner, slowly he starts to, you know, feel a little bit more comfortable around her. And as he's walking her outside to her car, she does something different. She gives him her number. So I thought it was really cute the way she did that. He is still a work in progress, but no longer destroying himself. Such a recovery allows him to position himself to be a role model to his brothers. And one brother in particular, because he has three brothers, but the one was his oldest brother who seemed to have been going through um, a rough time. It's almost like their roles were reversed. Um, the older brother has fallen on hard times. He lost his job and um, he, his girlfriend left him. And so things have changed. And so now Marcus is starting to see, you know, more positive things happening to his life. He's got the new job as a bus driver. Now he's talking with E and they become a couple. And so um, the brother kind of feels kind of jealous and resentful. Um, and he keeps company with two guys. One of them is um, Stacy and he's played by Theo Rossi. And the other is another gentleman that works at a barber shop. But they really are you know, still doing petty crime, doing devious stuff. And so Marcus is always getting on the brother, like, you know, you need to find some better friends. Um, and so um, elsewhere in the movie, three mask intruders break into a house um, and they murder a wealthy white family. Um, the mother and father are killed and the son, the teenage son is beaten into a coma. Um, the situation prompts entry of a veteran detective, and the detective is played by Michael Ely, who's trying to put the pieces together because this is his last homicide case before he retires. Unsurprisingly, three months later, it's revealed that someone within the Cowan's family is connected to the home invasion, holding a binder of rare baseball cards looking to sell them and make out like bandits. The knowledge places Marcus on a tough position, puts Marcus in a tough position regarding morality, family, and his new relationship. And what Marcus does is he makes the mistake of um, placing an, a unanimous call to Crime Stoppers. And he did it because he came to the realization that his brother was the one that was holding those um baseball cards and so he thought he was helping out but what he ended up doing was making not only his brother a target but him a target and the story has so many twists and turns and it takes you through how um, a family can become divided how families keep secrets um and then the way it ended the way the movie ended it left marcus with a decision to make a uh, one that could determine the fate of his brother and that's what i found so good about the story is you wanted to know more. You wanted to know well, what happened. Is it going to be a part two? What did Marcus do? And so I thought it was exceptionally written. I think Charles Murray did a great um, 
job, not only writing the script, but directing it. And I love the all-star cast. I love that he reached back and found veteran actors to play the parents. So let me know what you think about this review, guys, in the comments section. And have a great rest of your day.